Hi, Gel Press friends, Marjolaine here with a Bible journaling page using Faith Impressions. Today I'll be using watercolor paint from Royal Talons, as well as their black gesso and their clear gesso. The watercolor paints are from their brand Art Creations and the gesso is from their Amsterdam brand. So here I'm just using an old hotel key to spread some of the gesso on some paper. I'll do a few with clear and a few with black and I'm just using regular copy paper. Today I'm using the Faith Impressions border plate and I'm going to make um, a bunch of prints on the copy paper and then I'm going to choose one of my favorites to make a Bible journaling entry. I'm also sometimes going to spray the watercolor paint with water and other times I just use it as is. So this first print I did spray with a bit of water and so you can see it has that watercolor effect. And this one, the second one, I did not use water. And as you can see, it's got um, a lot more color saturation on it. So I'm just going to keep playing with this until I come up with the print of my dreams. I'm really loving these and I plan on using them as collage elements in my future projects. And now I'm just going to start layering on top of the previous prints that I made.
This one's looking pretty cool. It's looking grungy. I didn't think I would like brown. I don't usually like brown, but mixed with this blue, it looks pretty good. So now I'm going to try um, putting an impression in it. And because it's watercolor, I wasn't sure how it was going to turn out. And um, it does not look amazing. I love it. Um, you'll have to wait and see what happens in just a few seconds. Okay, here it comes. Wait for it. Wait for it. Here it is. It's the print of my dreams. I'm pretty sure this is my ultimate favorite gel press print of all times. I love it so much. I'm going to keep playing, hoping to get another print like that, but I'm trying different colors and um, with water, without water, and just creating a bunch of really beautiful prints. So here I'm going to start assembling my Bible journaling page and I have a bit of a dilemma because the print I want to use, the really beautiful one, doesn't match at all with the other side, the other entry. So I decide to just um, go to a different page and just find a different verse that was kind of in the same, same idea. So the first verse that I wanted to use was Galatians 6, 9, which says, Let us not become weary in doing good, for at the proper time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. And I was going to choose words out of the magazine um, that had to do with not giving up on doing good. Uh, but since I went to a different page and changed the verse, um, I kind of chose it because it said love and coffee and that reminded me of hospitality which is doing good it's because of the colors in my print and so I went with a different verse and the verse is from 1st Timothy 5 10 and it says 
and is well known for her good deeds such as bringing up children, showing hospitality, washing the feet of the Lord's people, helping those in trouble, and devoting herself to all kinds of good deeds. And so coffee and love just kind of reminds me of hospitality and helping those in trouble. So that's why I chose it. And here the, the page just looked a little bland against that gorgeous print. So I'm just using some Distress Ink to kind of make it look like I stained it with coffee. And that's it for me today. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.